Good morning, Gear 6. Welcome to today's English lesson. Uh, now, it's going to be a very short video today because I'm going to try and give you as much time as possible to have a go at your writing. Okay. Now, you're coming to the end of your story and it's time to start bringing it all together. Okay. We're getting to that resolution part. Now then, these are the steps to success for your story, and these are the things that I'm going to be looking for in your work. Now, most of the, you have included all of these anyway, but remember, it, just because you've done them once at a certain part doesn't mean you stop using them. You keep building them throughout your story. So, writing using your story map, that's your plan from last week, hopefully you've been using that. Uh, my story contains exciting events to engage the reader. I'm going to be doing a little bit more on that today. Okay, my story has a clear ending. Well, yours should start to be taking place now. Okay, now remember the resolution might be the end of the problem, but it's not the end of the story. The ending is what happens after the events. Okay, if you think back to the 18th emergency, where you had obviously the, the resolution of Marv and Mouse meeting, there's actually more of a story left after that. There's a whole other chapter left which was dedicated to and then how the character was feeling and what was going on. So you're going to leave that till tomorrow. And today you are just going to be writing the main resolution. Okay. The main part um, of what happens after the dilemma. Again, you should be making sure that you've got speech in there to make that story interesting and to move it along. It really does help um, give some characters, your character some depth. Uh, we're looking for chosen verbs and adverbs throughout your story, okay? It's not, it's not just a case of picking out a dictionary and choosing the most complicated word that you don't know, okay? There's really, really good powerful verbs that you use every day, okay? It's just a case of writing them down rather than went or said or he walked, okay? Think of some better ones, but it doesn't have to be the biggest words you can find in a dictionary or thesaurus. Modal verbs. Uh, they could, they should, they must, they will, okay, get some modal verbs into there. Uh, make sure you're using fronted adverbials, and you've got lots and lots of description. Now, the whole point of doing this over five days, so it's not a big write where you have to think about all these things to get in at once. It gives you a chance to make the story your own, and you can go wherever and however you want to do with it. Because a big write, you only have an hour and a half. At least with this, you've had effectively five to six hours of writing time. And that's why I'm saying when I'm, I'm looking for a page almost a day is because that will create an amazing story. And honestly, this is one of the last fictional pieces we're going to be doing in year six. This is a chance for you to be, have a piece of work at the very end. So you can go, wow, look at what I can do. OK, so make sure you're describing everything in great detail. And of course, we're using interesting vocab. Now, that's going to come through your description, your adverbials. Now, yesterday, I asked you to use a range of punctuation and to use embedded clauses. So make sure you're still using them today, okay, as well as your description. But I'm looking for something a little bit extra as well today, okay? Not only am I looking for the range of punctuation used correctly, but I'm also looking for exciting events that hook me in, that basically I get to the end of your resolution and go, oh, I want more, I want to read more of this, okay? So make sure you find something to hook the reader in, okay? They're, you've got the reader, they're reading it, make them want to keep reading more, okay? Get their attention, okay? Not disappointing going, oh, yeah, that was fine, okay? Really hook them in, excite them, make them want to read more of your story. And I can tell you from reading your stories, that is happening so far, so keep it going. So, today's task is to write a resolution. Uh, remember, this should be about a page of A4. It might be a little bit more, okay? Um, again, if you're using a computer, make sure any edits that I have given you and any feedback you have changed on your main documents, okay? I'm sending you the new files, but make sure that you've either copied and pasted that over or you've changed them yourself onto your file. Um, extension, there are spelling activities on Study Ladder if you want to have a go at them. And remember, send me your work as soon as it's finished and that way I can get it marked and it'll definitely be back to you before the next day, okay? So, short video from me today, okay? We'll do some more um, spike stuff in our daily Skype sessions this morning. Thank you very much, Year 6. I look forward to speaking to you soon.